That we keep going back to show the change and the and the growth there. and the transformation, yes. right? Over all the all mm -hmm. this time. Yeah. Yeah. And what a perfect weekend to be up at Idlewild for a lot I of folks. Know. Lots of sunshine yesterday and today. Much warmer today, a little more humid, but we could deal with it to have the sunshine because tomorrow a whole different ball game. We've got showers and thunderstorms on the way. Some of those could be strong as severe tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. For the moment, exact track 40 radar scanning the skies across southeastern Michigan. We can see it is a clear clean sweep here this evening. This is a good uh, some good news right now as we do have thunderstorms just off to the north and west of Lansing over toward Grand Rapids. Those should stay far enough away as we head throughout the evening hours tonight, but I'm not going to rule out an isolated shower overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Still very warm for 11 o'clock tonight. 78 right now here in Detroit, 75 in Ann Arbor, 73 working into Port Huron and 75 as you work over into Adrian. That's pretty much the story for the entire region tonight. 73 3 Mount Clemens, 76 right now up here, 77 in Flint, and 76 right now checking in with us over in Howe. We've been watching thunderstorms move across Lake Michigan throughout the evening. These did have a severe thunderstorm watch with it over in portions of Wisconsin earlier this evening. No severe weather as of right now in the western portions of the state, but with all of this working off to the north and east, I'm not going to rule out an isolated shower as we head throughout the evening hours tonight. Severe thunderstorm and tornado watches in effect over portions of Minnesota all along a warm front. This front will lift off to the north and east right into Michigan overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, followed by a cold front tomorrow night, and that could spark some severe storms in our neck of the woods tomorrow. The Storm Prediction Center has all of southeastern Michigan under a marginal risk for severe weather tomorrow. That's a one out of five on our severe weather scale. The biggest threat for tomorrow will be isolated damaging wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour and some hail possible in some of the stronger thunderstorms. But I'm also not going to rule out some heavy downpours possible as we head into tomorrow as well. We'll have that isolated shower, but most places staying dry by the time we get to 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. After lunchtime into tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to watch the radar for showers and thunderstorms. 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, spotty at the start. But then the further we go on into the afternoon, into the evening, clouds and radar forecast here shows widespread showers and thunderstorms into the forecast by 7 o'clock at night. If we see more more activity tomorrow morning than what the models are leading on to. We could be talking a whole different ball game as we get into tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. So this is a very conditional forecast for tomorrow. But then once that front moves through, we'll keep clouds and maybe an isolated shower in early Tuesday morning. And then we break into sunshine and drier weather sticks around from Tuesday all the way through the rest of next week. Overnight tonight, we'll drop to 71. We'll go partly cloudy tonight with an isolated rain shower after midnight tonight. Bus stop forecast for the first day back tomorrow. Low 70 is a mixture of sunshine and clouds in the morning, and then we start watching the radar into the afternoon for those showers and thunderstorms. We'll top out at 88 tomorrow, 83 on Tuesday morning showers giving way to some sunshine before we've got another dry stretch of weather coming in for the rest of next week and into the next weekend for that Labor Day holiday. While we're into the 70s on Thursday, we rebound into the mid 80s for next weekend.